Are you currently in your third year of college? Are you pursuing degree programs in science and technology? Looking for a scholarship that will finance your education? Then, the Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute, is looking for you. The Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute, is now offering scholarship through their JLSOS program, or the Junior Level Science Scholarship Program. The program will finance the education of talented and deserving students in their third year of college who are pursuing degree programs in the area of science and technology, and ensure a steady, adequate supply of qualified science and technology human resources who can steer the country towards national progress. The program has three types of scholarship. First is the Merit, the DOST SEI Merit Scholarship Program or formerly known as the NSDB or NSDA Scholarship under the RA number 2067 is awarded to students with high aptitude in science and mathematics and are willing to pursue careers in the fields of science and technology. The second is the RA7687. The Republic Act No. 7687, also known as the Science and Technology Scholarship Act of 1994, provides for scholarship to talented and deserving students whose family socioeconomic status does not exceed the set cutoff values of certain indicators. Qualifiers must pursue priority fields of study in the basic sciences, engineering, other applied sciences, and science and mathematics teaching. And lastly, the Republic Act No. 10612 aims to strengthen the country's science and technology education by fast-tracking graduates in the sciences, mathematics, and engineering who shall teach science and mathematics in secondary schools throughout the country. My name is John Henry I. De La Rosa, a DOST Merit Scholar from Cagayan de Oro City. I graduated from Xavier University Senior High School. I am currently a second-year BS Biology student at Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan. I took up BS Biology primarily because it is my pre-medical course. But more significantly, I love science. I knew about this scholarship because my, my two classmates was particularly interested in this. And they told me about the opportunities that this scholarship will give me. I applied for a DOST scholarship because besides from the financial assistance that it gives me, I would like to make my college years more meaningful by taking this opportunity as a challenge that would motivate me and push me through my limits, both academically and personally. My DOST scholarship really helped me and my family in terms of the financial aspects of my education. So I really felt that I was supported and cared for. Now here are the privileges of being a DOST scholar. Tuition and other school fees, book allowance, monthly living allowance, transportation allowance, premium group health and accident insurance, thesis allowance, and graduation allowance. And here are the other allowances provided in the summer. Now who can apply for this scholarship program? Regular third-year college male and female students enrolled in priority science and technology courses at identified universities as of first semester of academic year 2021-2022 must have a general weighted average of at least 83% or its equivalent and with no conditional or failing mark in the first two years in college, including in the mid-year terms if enrolled. Must be natural-born Filipino citizen. Must be of good moral character and in good health. May have taken the DOST-SEI scholarship examination before but did not pass 
or have qualified for the DOST SEI Undergraduate Scholarship but did not avail the scholarship award. And here are the list of documents needed to be submitted for the application. Here are the important things to know when applying for the program. You will need a valid email address for logging into your application account and for receiving notifications about your application status and result. Please make sure that the email address you intend to register has not been compromised in a data breach. To ensure security of your data, you are encouraged to use secured email accounts, preferably one that has two-step verification. You will be advised the status of your application and other announcements relative to your application through the email account that you used during the registration. Please provide a working mobile number by which you can be contacted should there be a need to relative to your application. You will be assigned an application ID. This, with pertinent personal data, shall serve as your access credential to the JLSS e-application system. Please keep your access credentials secure. Do not create multiple accounts. This will cause delay in accessing your application forms. When you are ready with all the information you need to fill out your e-application and the documents that needed to be uploaded, make sure you have a stable internet connection. When you already have all the necessary documents, you are now ready to access the JLSS e-application portal which can be accessed through this link jlss.science-scholarship.ph slash number sign slash register Should you have questions or concerns, you may contact the Science and Technology Scholarship Division at telephone number area code 02 8308876 or through cell phone number at 0926 8868816. Then we contact them through email at jlssapp at gmail.com. For the announcement of scholarship qualifiers, just visit the Science Education Institute website sei.dost.gov.ph. If you qualify for the scholarship, you will be sent the notice of award through your registered email address. And for more info, you may also visit our website at www.expertise.tech. Thank you for watching. And for more updates, like this video and share this with your friends who might be interested. And kindly support us by subscribing to our channel. For this has been Expertise TV Flash Updates.